in this video, I'm going to be showing you some of the um, overall concepts of Excel, which will then position us to do some further things in subsequent videos. Now, in this video, I will be using, or I am using, the Office 365 version of Excel, the online Excel. But all of the things being done in this, in this uh, um, video, you will also be able to do on other versions of Excel, such as if it, if it is a desktop version and so on. You'll just maybe have to, some of the commands will be a little bit different. So first key concept is that of the ribbon. Okay, the ribbon is the gray area shown here. Now, when you first come into Excel, usually for the first time, you get a smaller ribbon and it will be positioned on what is called the home tab, which is another key concept. Ribbons have various tabs associated with them, which just groups like forms of, of commands and, and functions and allows you to find things a little bit easier. It's like a, it's like a uh, sort of a, a table of context, uh, contents of your, of your ribbon. Now you can, and I recommend clicking this down arrow, this will give you an expanded ribbon and it gives you more information. It takes away a little space uh, on your screen, uh, but it's really up to you as to which way you'd, you'd like to go on that. So, so, so far we've got the concept of a ribbon, which is where your commands are, tabs, organize them. And we, what we're gonna do here is focus on the home tab. Now, a key idea in Excel, is that it is a spreadsheet and it's composed of a large number of rows and a large number of columns. Each row has a separate number associated with it. Each column has a separate letter of the alphabet and there are many as you go across. There's more rows and more columns than you will likely ever need. The combination of rows and columns gives us the ability to reference something called cells. Each cross section or each, each um, instance of a row and a column. So there is uh, column A, row one is called a cell. And there are many cells. As you can see, there are many, many cells in a spreadsheet. And each one has a unique name. It's called the cell name. And it is, in this one, it is A1 in that it's in the A column and the first row. This is B2, this is B4, B5, and so on. So each one has a unique name and it's that characteristic which gives us a lot of uh, capabilities that we'll be seeing in future videos. Now, another concept is the, is the term or the concept of sheet. This, what you can see on your screen, all of the columns, all of the rows, is a sheet and I've, it, it's named here. It is the first sheet, which has the name budget, which I previously gave it. Now we can add additional sheets by, by clicking the plus, which creates another sheet. Now it's just named sheet one. Um, if you add another one, it will be called sheet two. And there's various times when you need, may need to have different sheets. Within, within your Excel file. You can rename them. If you don't, you know, sheet one and sheet two are not very, uh, uh, not, not very informative by just clicking on the right uh, mouse key and then click on rename. And you can name it whatever, whatever you like. And it will be renamed at the bottom. You can move things around. If you want to shift things, you can. And if you want to delete them, let's say we don't want that sheet uh, two anymore, just right mouse click and we click on delete. Now make sure that you know that you want to do this. Uh, it's permanent if you delete. Okay. Except of sheets. Now the collection of all sheets in the file is called a workbook. Okay, so we have sheets and workbooks, which workbooks are the collection of, of all of them. Now, the other thing you may have noticed is that the, the cells are, are fairly, you know, 
fairly large on this sheet, fairly small on this one. Well, this is the default that, you, that, that will be when you first bring up Excel and it's the level of zoom. So if we look in the bottom right corner, the default is 100% versus on the budget sheet, I had previously changed it to 160% and you can change that however you like. So we could take this back to 100%, which is the normal default or take it up to 160%, which is what I'm gonna do for the rest of this, uh, the rest of the videos. Uh, I'm just going to um, delete this. We don't need this sheet for the rest of our rest of our work. So I'm going to delete that help information. And so we have one sheet, one workbook, uh, and and you saw how to zoom in and out. So so that is the end of the uh, Excel basics overview video, and we'll continue on in the next.